Shalom Aleichem, our live viewers. Today's shir is dedicated to Lili Nishmas Rachel Leia Bas Chaim Tzvi. We're continuing in the Gemara Brachas in the Slugi of Birchas HaToyra, the obligation that one is required to recite special brachas upon the recitation, prior to the recitation of the study of Torah. We were discussing in the previous year the Machloikas between the Amirayim on the Afir Aleph of Medbez. The Gemara says in the Afir Aleph of Medbez, Omar Avhuna, the Mikro Tzorich Levarech, the Medrash Enoit Tzorich Levarech. That Ravuna stated that one is required to recite Birchas HaTorah, one is required to make a bracha prior to the study of Chumash, but not prior to the study of Medrash, of the Midrash Halacha, of the Mechilta, the Sifra, the Sifri, the Midrashim, which expand on the Psukim, and derive Halachos through the Drashos of Psukim. Reb Lezer Omar, Reb Lezer said, Lemikra Ula Medrash Tzorich Levarich. One is obligated to recite Birch Satayra both when one is studying Chumash, Psukim, and when one is studying Medrash before proceeding to learn either Chumash, Torah Shabbat or Medrash, which is Torah Shabbat Peh, there's an obligation to first recite Birch Satayra. The Mishnah ain't Tzorich However, the Blazer is of the opinion that when it comes to learning Mishnayis, there is no chiyuv to recite beforehand Berachas Hatayra. For Rabbi Yechonon Omar, Af the Mishnah Nami Tzorich Levarich. Rabbi Yechonon says there is an obligation to recite Berachas Hatayra prior to the study of Mishnah of the Mishnayos. Avol Tal Mode ain't Tzorich Levarich. But it's not required to recite Birchas HaTayra before learning Gemara. V'rav Omar af l'talmud tzorich levareich. That's the girsa that we have in the Gemara, that Rav is of the opinion that even for learning Gemara, there's an obligation to recite beforehand Birchas HaTayra. So there's a machlekes here in the Gemara between the Amiraim on which chalik of Tayra, on which part of Tayra, is there a din to recite Birchus HaTayra, the special brachos of which were established in connection to the study of Torah? Which part of Torah is there an obligation to make those brachos before commencing to study? And in the previous year we discussed a little bit two approaches how to understand this machlekes. On the face of it, it seems a little bit difficult to understand what exactly is the issue. Why would there be a svara that Birchas HaTayra, what is the svara, what's the rationale to explain why Birchas HaTayra should be only recited in connection to the study of Chumash or to the study of Medrash and not to Mishnah and not to Gemara. So the previous year we suggested an approach from Rav Salavechik that Rav Salavechik explains that assuming Birchas HaTayra is defined as a birchas mitzvah, as a bracha that is recited in connection to the performance of a mitzvah. There is, however, another condition that a bracha on the performance of a mitzvah is only recited when the mitzvah is performed through a maisa mitzvah, through an action. But a mitzvah that is performed without an action, there is no bracha. And therefore, if Salvechik suggested that the machlekes between the Amirayim is that according to Rav Huna, who learns that the chiv of Birch HaSatayra was established on Mikra, on learning Chumash, because Rav Huna holds that when one learns Chumash, there's a kiyum of learning Torah Shebechsav, there's a performance of the mitzvah of learning the Torah Shebechsav, the written Torah, which the performance of the learning Torah Shabbat Shav is performed through an action, through a Maisa Mitzvah of reading the Psukim. And if, for example, an individual would just think the Psukim in his mind, he would be Maharer Beliboy Psukim of Torah. According to this 
explanation, he would not fulfill the mitzvah of learning Torah Shabbat Sav. The mitzvah of learning Torah Shabbat Sav is fulfilled only through reading, through Kriya. And if Salvechik was medayik this from Rashi, on the Achayim et Aleph, the Rashi says, Chumash ze Mikra, Chumash is called Mikra, reading, Shemitzvah Likra is Patayra. So there's a mitzvah to read from the Torah. However, in terms of Torah Shabal Peh, Torah Shabal Peh is a mitzvah that is performed through Havana, through understanding. As the Gemara says earlier, Rashi, on the Achayim et Aleph, Mishnah Zu Mishnah She Yisasku Ba Mishnah One should be involved in the study of Mishnah through the understanding that's how one performs the mitzvah and the Baal Hatanya and his Shulchan Aruch Paskins that if a person learns Teresh Shabal Peh and he doesn't understand what he